In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can create a secure Dockerized Elasticsearch cluster using Docker Compose. The cluster will consist of three Elasticsearch nodes and one Kibana node. So here I have two uh, important files. I have the Docker Compose, which contains the configuration for the Elasticsearch containers that we're going to be using. And you have the .env file that contains the values of the environment variables that we're going to be using in our Docker Compose file. So for this demonstration, we're going to be using Elasticsearch 8.7.0. And so I'm going to walk through this Docker Compose YAML and just explain what's going on. And then after that, I will start up the containers using Docker Compose app and we will see how that works. So this Docker Compose file consists of several services. The first service is the setup service, which uses an Elasticsearch image to generate certificates. So what this is going to do is that it's going to generate uh, the, uh, the certificate authority which in turn is going to be used to sign the certificates that are also generated by this service. So here we have the image that we're pulling, which is Elasticsearch version 8.7.0. And this stack version is set in the .env file. Here it is, st stack version. Next, we have a volume, and this is where the certificates that are generated by this service are going to be stored. And then we're going to reference this volume in our other Elasticsearch uh, containers. So the other nodes are going to use this to um, get a certificate. So that's why it is mapped to this volume called search. Here we're using the root uh, user. Then here we have a command that, that essentially checks a couple of things. We check if the Elasticsearch password is set. And if I come in here, I set mine to a basic uh, password. Of course, this should be stronger here in our production. And then same thing for Kibana, I want it to be set as well. That's set in here. And then now we have two other uh, if blocks here. So we have another that checks to see if the certificate authority uh, exists, this zip file. Uh, if it doesn't exist, we're going to create it. And it is created using this util called Elasticsearch search util. And so this generates it and outputs it into the config search directory. And it is outputted into a zip file called ca.zip. Now, when this is running, it's running in the home directory of Elasticsearch, which is this up here, which is user share Elasticsearch. That's the home directory. And that's why we have to uh, add this prefix here of config and certificates. So it goes into this volume. And then when we're done, we unzip um, this zip file. And so the certificates are now available in this folder. Next, we check to see if the certificates exist. So if this zip file exists, if it doesn't, then we create the certificates. In this case, uh, this certificate util allows us to define a YAML file with all the certificates for all the nodes. Um, well, the YAML file just def defines the config for each node. And here we see we have three nodes. We have ES1, we have ES2, we have ES3. So each of these is uh, for each node. So we're here we're configuring the uh, certificate details for ES1. And then this is for ES2. And then this is for ES3. And then we output that, this into a YAML file. And then we use that same certificate util to generate the certificates. So the output is going to be these certificates in a zip file. The input for this uh, util is this YAML, as well as the certificate authorities certificate and the certificate certificate authorities private key, because that's what's going to be used to sign the certificates. When that's done, we unzip uh, the certificate zip file into that same uh, folder called config slash certs. Next, we're going to set some file permissions. So the first thing we want to do is change the ownership of this certificates folder to root group and root user. Next, we want to change the permissions for all the files in the home directory. The current directory is represented by this dot and what the current directory we're in is the Elasticsearch home directory. So we want to change all the directories in there, uh, the permissions to this chmod 750. And if you Google this, it will show you what exactly it means. Same thing for the folders, here, for the files. That's what the F means. All the files in the current folder, change them to chmod640. Once we're done with that, we're going to wait for the Elasticsearch availability. And we do that by pinging, using the certificate from the certificate authority that we created earlier. We're going to ping ES01. And if it returns missing authentication credentials, that means it's not ready. So we'll sleep and then try again until eventually it's ready. When that's done, we're going to set the Kibana system password and this is a user this is a username for the kibana user so we are going to ping again 
or curl the ES1 endpoint. And we are going to use the certificate from the certificate authority again. And we're going to provide the Elasticsearch password that we set in the .env. And we're going to hit this endpoint. And we're going to provide the Kibana password that we want to uh, change to. So this is what's going to be the new Kibana password. Um, and then the same thing, uh, if it's not ready, then sleep and try again until it's it's ready. And then when that is done, then the process of setting up is done. And now we can move on to the rest. The Elasticsearch cluster that we're going to create in this demo is going to consist of three Elasticsearch nodes and one Kibana node. So the names of the nodes here are ES01, ES02, ES03. And we have the Kibana node here. So let's take a look at the config for the Elasticsearch nodes. So most of the nodes or all of the nodes have the same uh, config. So most of the config is the same, but there's just a slight variation in some of the values. For example, of course, the node name will change from service to service. Um, the initial master nodes as well. I mean, the seed host will change as well. Um, and then of course the certificate names. So let's just go through this list and see what's going on. So this depends on the setup service being healthy and the setup service is healthy when the ES1 certificate has been created, which happens here in the setup service. And then we're pulling the Elasticsearch Docker container, which is version 8.7.0. And then we have the two volumes here. We have the search volume, which is pointing to the certificates volume that was created by the setup service. And so now this node is able to access the certificates that were created by the setup service. Then we have this ES data 01 volume that is basically the place where Elasticsearch is going to store its data for this node. We also have the port here, which is set to port 9200. And that maps to port 9200. <clears throat> then here we have the list of uh, environment configs. So we have the node name, we have the cluster name, which maps to what was set in here, which is a Docker cluster. And then we have the initial master nodes, which are uh, the initial set of master eligible nodes in a brand new cluster. So this is setting the list of initial master eligible nodes in a brand new cluster. Now the discovery seed hosts, on the other hand, just provide a list of addresses of the master eligible nodes in the cluster. And then here we're setting the elastic password. Then we have the memory lock. Um, then here we have some security settings. So we're enabling security so that everything um, is secure here and authentication is required. Then we have these XPAC security .http. So these ones are configs for the traffic to and from Elasticsearch because when you send a request to Elasticsearch uh, via, let's say you, you have an application, you send a request over HTTP, we're essentially saying we want that to be enabled and to be done via SSL. So we have that set to true here. Then we have the uh, certificate private key, and then we have the certificate itself here. And these are all generated by the setup service. And then have the uh, certificate authority, which was cre created again by the setup service. So it's worth mentioning that it is important to have all the certificates generated by the same side uh, certificate authority, because that's how they'll be able to communicate with each other. And that's what prevents random nodes from joining a cluster, because if they have not been signed by the same certificate authority, then the communication will be denied because they'll be treated as intruders. So it's important to have this uh, certificate authority, whatever cert certificate authority you choose, signing all the certificates for the nodes in your cluster. Now here we have XPAC security transport SSL, and this is for setting configurations for inter-cluster communication. So the nodes have to communicate with each other inside the cluster. And for that, we also want that to be secure. So this enables that. And then now we have the same thing. When the nodes communicate with each other, they'll need to provide um, since the certificates that will have to be verified. So we have the key here, we have the certificate, and then we also have the certificate authority that signed it, which is the same one as here. And then we have the verification mode saying that we'll use certificates to verify the authentication. And then the license we're using here is a basic or trial license. So this lasts for just for like uh, 30 days. So that's what I'm using here, just for the demo. Then we have the memory limit again set here. And we have some more limits here. Then again, we have a health check, which just checks to see uh, it will ping itself and see if 
Elasticsearch is running on this port 9200. If it's not, if it gets this error, then click retry and there's an interval here um, and the number of retries. And then once that's ready, then it will be marked as healthy and anything that depends on it like this, ES02, will not be able to proceed. So now if you come to ES02, we'll see it has the same configs. Basically it has its own data uh, volume. It's still pointing to the same certificate volume as setup and as ES01. And then of course the name is different. The uh, seed, seed hosts are different here. So it's pointing to ES01 and ES03. The initial master nodes are the same. Uh, certificate, private key, and certificate are different because it's pointing to its own certificate. And that's it. I think that's all that's different here. And likewise for ES03. So I'll go through that. Let's take a look at this Kibana service that configures a Kibana container. It depends on all Elasticsearch nodes being healthy. So ES01, ES02, ES03. And the image I'm using for Kibana is the same version as the Elasticsearch version, which is 8.7.0. And then the volumes here, we have two volumes. You have the certs, which we are sharing with the other nodes. And this certs is a volume that was created when the setup service ran and created the certificates and certificate authority. So we're essentially saying that we want those certificates and certificate authorities to be available at this location inside the Kibana container. And then we have the Kibana data volume, which is also going to be used for storing Kibana data. Then we have the port here that just maps what has been set in the .env file, or just mapping the same, 5601. Now here we have some environment variables. We have the Elasticsearch hosts, which is essentially just a list of the URLs of the Elasticsearch instances that Kibana will use for its queries. All the instances listed here in the hosts must be of the same cluster. The server name is just a human readable name for the Kibana server. Here we have Elasticsearch username, which is Kibana system. This is system generated. I did not create this. Then we have the Elasticsearch password, which is set as well in the .env. And these settings provide uh, the username and password that Kibana uses to perform maintenance on the Kibana index at startup. So these are just system credentials. Now here we have Elasticsearch SSL certificate authorities, which is a path to the certificate authorities or authority rather that was created uh, in the setup service. Now this certificate authority is used by Kibana to establish trust when making outbound SSL or uh, TLS connections to Elasticsearch. And then we have the memory limit again, which is the same as the Elasticsearch nodes. Then of the health check here that just checks to see um, if the container is running. And if it is, then it's deemed as healthy. And then you have the volumes here that we created earlier. We just define them here. All right, now let's go ahead and fire up this cluster and see how it goes. All right, now we see it's all done because Sikibana has been set and is now available. All right, let's verify that this, this is working as it should. And to do this, I'm going to use a browser. So I'm going to try and hit Elasticsearch from my browser. To do that, I'll come here and navigate to HTTPS. And it's very important because we enable security in our Elasticsearch cluster. It's expecting an HTTPS uh, connection. So if I use HTTP, the request will not work. So, so I'm running a local host and I want to access Elasticsearch, which is running a port 9200. I'm getting this message because I use a self-signed certificate. So if you use a certificate from a verified certificate authority, you should not be able to get this message. So I'll just ignore this. Visit the website, yes. And since Elasticsearch uses basic auth, now it brings up this dialogue that asks me for my username and password. And this was set when I created the containers in Docker Compose. The username is Elastic, which is a username created by Elasticsearch. And then my password is what I had set in Docker Compose, which is Elastic Demo. Let me start something, Elastic Demo. Oop. And now I'm in. And we can see that I'm able to uh, access this endpoint for Elasticsearch. And we have all the information for the node here. We have the version, node name, etc. So now we know that this is working as it should. Okay, now let's verify Kibana. Kibana runs on port 5601. And it looks like I have some success here. So I'm going to log in with my Elastic uh, credentials, not my Kibana credentials, because the Kibana credentials that I set in Docker Compose were for the system, not for the users. So I'm going to sign in as an, my Elastic user, which is a system generated user, it's Elastic. And then my password, which was Elastic Demo. And this is what I'd set in 
compose and success i'm able to log in i hope that this demo was useful in showing how you can secure your Elasticsearch cluster the idea here was to ensure that any internode communication is done over https and also any inbound traffic into Elasticsearch or outbound traffic out of Elasticsearch is done via HTTPS.